Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I will be getting some cleaning done. So if you need some cleaning motivation, I hope this video gives you some of that and we can clean along together. And like always, I start my day with some laundry and honestly, it just helps me stay productive when I get my laundry done. So if you need to do some laundry, I challenge you to go get that. If you got to fold or if you got to start a load or change a load, go do that right now. And I am going to show you my favorite laundry combo. The purple is the lavender um, detergent and the pink one is the mountain um, bliss or mountain fresh, um, scent booster. And I absolutely love these have been using these for a while now and I am obsessed. They actually clean my clothes and make my clothes soft and smell so good. So if you are curious about that, I have a link in my description for the wellness box. If you want to try that company out, but let's get to cleaning. All right, so I have a lot of laundry to do in this video, like a lot, like four or five days worth of laundry that just kept getting piled and piled. So first I am starting by making my bed. This is something I try to do every morning um, just because we use this bathroom quite often. So it just feels good to walk through here and just see that the bed is made and it just makes the room feel more cleaned, clean and picked up. Now we are on to just cleaning up the living room and I don't know if it's my kids or just the age that they're at, but I just feel like a lot of their toys just have a ton of little parts. So it just feels like the, the floor is always covered in toys, but I do love that they play with toys and would rather do that than sit and watch TV. And lately we, the past two, two and a half weeks, we've been really trying hard not to watch any TV um, or movies. We've had a few um, Christmas movie nights um, on the weekends, but other than that, my kids have not watched um, TV or movies, and I'm not saying that to brag by any means because I totally get when our kids need to, um, or when you just need a break and you just need the kids to just like chill for a minute. I totally have used that, and I just feel like our kids have been having bad attitudes, so we're like, why not just try it? And they have not asked. Um, to watch TV and it just it just blows my mind how how easy it is to just be like okay I just need a minute to do something and you put easily put the TV on or a show or whatever and so if you have um, toddlers or kids that have some attitude or are working through things I try just try not to have so much screen time see if that affects them and see if it works for you guys but now I am just sweeping up the floors. I always forget that I have this thing and my daughter wanted to help clean and she took it out the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use that because I ran out of floor cleaner the, with my mop and um, so I was just waiting for that to come in the mail and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use um, that because I had to use um, my mop cleaner sparingly when I really needed to. So I was just sweeping the floors with that O Cedar um, dry brush and it worked out really well. And now I am just switching the laundry over and um, also washing our winter coats, which is a reminder for you to get those done. Um, that's definitely not something that I clean very often and I should because I was telling my husband we wear these almost every single day and never wash them. So <laughs> your reminder to wash your winter jackets. I am back. 
vacuuming and always something that I love to do because the vacuum lines just are so satisfying and show that you're actually getting clean and the lines just yeah, I love vacuum lines. They're my favorite. So now I'm just hanging up our coats after washing them and letting them all air dry. So I live in West Michigan and so that's like bottom where is that bottom left of Michigan? And um, it is cold for about six-ish months here at least. So we definitely wear these coats very often. So if you live in a colder northern state, um, how often do you wash your winter coats or just coats in general? Um, I definitely should be doing that more often. And now I am cleaning up our mud room and this room seriously gets muddy or not muddy. <laughs> Um, dirty very quickly. I can sweep this rug, vacuum it, and then a day later there's dirt and grass and hair all over it. Um, I used to do hair and I still do hair just very rarely. So when I do cut hair, it just sticks to this rug. Um, so this room gets very dirty quickly. As you can see, all that dust or not dust, dirt from that rug. And I'm just, I'm trying to think of a better way to set up this room where it doesn't get so dirty, but it's just kind of that time of year where there's so much dirt and mud. Um, but I will um, just show you kind of, I change things up just a little bit just to get less dirt. I don't know. Well, we're going to see how it works, but if you have any recommendations for rugs, I'm really uh, would love some ideas because I do love this like more the black and white I do like that look in here but it definitely shows dirt very easily so if you have any recommendations for a rug in here and I'm not sure on size or what way I'd want to put it because I do end up leaving it this way um, so you'll have to let me know um, if you have any good recommendations for rugs and yeah I got it those tassels always get stuck in the rug always <laughs> This is my Tinco floor um, mop vacuum and I absolutely love this thing. I got it for Christmas last year and it is game changer when you're just trying to keep your um, house clean, especially if you have a lot of hardwood floors. I highly recommend looking into that um, cleaning product. It is definitely game changing if you have pets or kids or just like to keep your house clean very often. It definitely helps you do that because it's just more convenient to have both in one and having it cordless too also it makes it really nice. And I, I know this is an older model, but it definitely is um, a nice vacuum mop to have. And now we're cleaning up Quinn's room. One of those days where I was like, all right, I really just gotta get this done and you can go play while I clean. I feel like I was going to say that Quinn just has a lot of little knickknacks and things that accumulate in her room that are just 
more like why how does this end up in here and I don't feel like that really changes when they get older you'll have to let me know if you have older kids if their rooms get um, less cluttered or more cluttered cluttered um, I was definitely that kid that had a cluttered room all the time and was not good at cleaning <laughs> ever until I had my own place so I totally relate to Quinn and just having all these little things all the time and never wanting to clean it up but yeah, you'll have to let me know if you have older kids, if they are like that still, or if they were ever like that. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Now I am emptying out the dishwasher and I have realized we are definitely running this a lot more lately, like every other day at night. I try to run it at night so that I can empty it during the day um, or before dinner or while I'm making dinner, I can empty it while I'm still in the kitchen doing that kind of stuff. But um, how often do you run your dishwasher? Do you do it every night just so you don't have a lot to put away? Or do you wait till it's like full to the brim to run? Um, yeah, I've seen both both ways. Um, but yeah, we're definitely running it every night or every other night. I'm sorry, every other night now. And yeah. And also I have just realized we lose so many, so much silverware. Like where does it all go? We only have, we, this set had to be in like an eight set of each silverware. And we have four big net, four big forks and four little forks left. Like do they just get thrown away when we clean up or <laughs> I'm, yeah, you'll have to let me know if you're like that too. Like does, does silverware just disappear at your house as well? Since having a white sink, we got this a few months ago now, probably late summer, um, I have realized that I really need to keep up on cleaning the white sink um, just because one, we have hard water and two, you know, you just don't want anything to possibly stain it if you do clean it. So I try to really deep clean this at least once a week and then I'll scrub it down with soap uh, multiple times during the week when I'm just doing dishes or whatnot. But just taking out the grate part because that definitely helps not let it scratch. And I'm so glad we have that. But um, just scrubbing it down really good and the pink stuff really works wonders when you have to get stains or whatnot out of your sink. And I've absolutely love that product. Um, I've used it on our showers and bathtubs before too, and I've seen people use it on their stove tops and um, I've heard maybe even walls. So you'll have to let me know what you, if you've had, um, if you've used the pink stuff and what you've used it on that you absolutely love. I feel like lately we've been spending a lot of time at our table just doing crafts and obviously eating and snacks and reading stuff. So the table gets cluttered very um, often. So I really just try to keep up on getting this stuff put away and um, but also, you know, life and everything just accumulates right there. So we got this round table, um, it's probably this past year and I do absolutely love the round table and um, I don't know if I would recommend this exact one, but I do love the round table look. Um, but because this one has like that barnwood look and it's got a lot of grooves, we definitely knew we needed to get um, placemats, especially for the kids, just with crumbs and then they'd get stuck in the table. Um, but I love having those mats and then I also have the ones for 
myself and Derek's side too. Um, do your, do your, does your family have certain spots that you sit at, at the table when you eat? We always sit in the same spots and then the kids change their chairs or whatnot, try to pull each other closer. But, um, yeah, we always have to sit in the same seats. It's too funny, but this is my list and I was done cleaning for the day. And, um, so this is the day two of cleaning and this day is sheet washing day. So I was, um, taking all the sheets off and Quinn wanted help and you could see her little stuffy taking a nap in our bed. So just taking the sheets off our bed and washing those and our towels. And I'm also washing Quinn sheets this day. Uh, Wade um, still wears diapers and he peed through his diaper earlier that week. So I already washed his sheets. So I didn't have to do that. But washing, I do t um, wash the kids sheets probably every other week and I wash ours every week. Um, just it's easier that way, just kind of in a routine. So washing her sheets in their bathroom towels at the same time after mine. And we are finally getting to that enormous pile of laundry. So typically when I have multiple days of laundry in a pile, I divide it all up from a person. And um, so I had a Quinn pile, Wade and towels, and then a Derek and Meredith pile. So that um, is what I was doing here, just separating everything. And then I was going to put that away after that. Um, but yeah, a little bit um, as I was saying, I am married and me and my husband have been together for seven and a half years and we have two kiddos, Quinn, she's four and Wade is two. Um, I am a stay at home mom who, um, we just started homeschooling this year. So that has been a fun adventure. And, um, I also love DIY projects and I really should write down my list of things that I want to do this winter. Um, I just have little things like I want to paint our bathroom, possibly do some shiplap. Um, I love that farmhouse look. So shiplap or board and batten and, um, you know, just things to change things up that are easily done and, um, you know, nothing too crazy. But uh, now I am just putting away our laundry uh, because, you know, I have mountains of it to get done. So if you have some laundry to put away, um, I encourage you to go grab that and we can do that together. Christmas is only a couple weeks away now. It probably is two, it is two weeks away from the day that I'm recording this. So that's so crazy to think. Um, we um, sometimes have snow on Christmas and we sometimes don't. And right now it is very much looking like we're probably not going to get any snow unless it just happens to fall on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So we are going to have a green grass Christmas here. Um, I don't know. You also let me know where you live. Do you typically get snow where you are? Is it like hit or miss kind of like where I am? Um, I do love a good white snowy Christmas, but 
you know, sometimes you just don't get that lucky. And especially the past few years, well, I will say last year we had a, we got like a snowstorm on Christmas Eve. So, and that was like perfect because then it was sunny on Christmas day, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let me know if you typically have a white Christmas or if it's warm where you live. Um, if you sometimes get snow, um, but yeah, I am just making our bed now. It is much later in the day. Um, this sometimes, you know, you just kind of pick away at things and slowly get them done throughout the day. And other days you're super motivated to get things done, um, within an hour or two. And sometimes it just depends if you have kids running around or, um, someone to help you get things done or take care of the kids while you can clean. Um, just know that is okay to not get everything done on your to-do list during um, one big hour or two hour slot. And sometimes it's got to be throughout the day or other times throughout multiple days. And it's all okay. As long as your home feels good to you and, um, you feel like you can accomplish the things that you get on, put on your to-do list. Um, and I hope that I can be an encouragement to that, um, and help you um, stay motivated when you're doing your cleaning because it's like we're cleaning together when you watch these videos. So that's one thing I love about watching cleaning videos. It definitely it gives me the motivation and um, kind of encourages me to try new cleaning things or just looking at how other people clean. I feel like is um, kind of just opens your eyes like, oh, I didn't ever think to do that or I've seen that product and I should try it because they love that um, but yeah I just know that cleaning is something that takes some time and um, doesn't always have to be done in one day so now I am just cleaning up um, Quinn's room <laughs> anybody else just always have clothes that get stuck in the sheets it never fails that that always happens but I'm just making Quinn's bed now and um, I will be finishing up this video in here. So if you, um, would like and subscribe, I would love that. I love, um, seeing your comments and, um, how your day is going and any feedback that you leave is amazing. I love creating these videos for you and it's fun to just get creative and show you kind of my daily, weekly cleaning list. So I hope this video gave you some encouragement to get your cleaning done this week and um, we can clean along together next week in next week's video. So have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.